today I will be teaching you variation of thermoelectric EMF with the temperature. So this is a very important question in uh, BE second sem where uh, you have to give a explanation about this graph and also the uh, following derivations which I will be teaching you. So first we have to draw this graph which is thermo EMF versus the temperature T. First you have to write the explanation about this graph. So the first thing is, the first thing what you have to write is, it is parabolic in nature. And uh, yeah, this graph, it shows the variation of what? It shows the variation about the thermo EMF and the temperature T. So this graph is the variation of what? It is the variation of the cold junction, sorry, it's the variation of hot junction versus the cold junction. Yeah. So as the temperature of hot junction, as the temperature, you have to write this third point as the temperature of hot junction increases increases it goes to a maximum it it goes to maximum level tn okay tn and then it stops well what do you call this tn as this tn is called as a neutral temperature neutral temperature okay so when this hot junction is increased even the thermo emf is also increases so you have to write that as hot junction increases the respective thermo emf also increases okay so when it reaches to a point maximum tn what happens is it will gradually starts decreasing okay so the next is uh, Yeah, it starts dec decreasing. So you have to write it as the fifth point. The again the thermo EMF when when it reaches T N. I mean the neutral temperature. The thermo EMF. starts to decrease it is nothing but the cold junction so beyond the temperature if it goes beyond the temperature what happens is inversion of okay I'll, I'll write it for you if if it goes beyond temperature inversion of emf happens inversion of thermo emf inversion of thermo emf takes place which is nothing but it will go in the opposite direction okay it is that is it will go in the opposite direction okay so the temperature of the inversion depends upon the temperature of the cold junction okay write it as six point 
the temperature of inversion depends upon the temperature of cold junction okay and uh, then what happens it will come to a point and then the neutral thing takes place and the same again and again so these six points you write and next is the derivation which you have to write it is a compulsory derivation if, which if you write you will get full marks so the first thing is the derivation okay i will write it derivation here the first equation which you have to remember is e is equal to a t plus b t square which is the first equation which you have to remember this is the important equation it's very important i will write for a star mark where a and b are the constants of a thermocouple where a and b are the constant of a thermocouple okay next what you do you have to differentiate equation one so differentiating equation one will be de by dt is equal to a plus 2bt okay so replace this t replacing t is equal to t <coughs> tn and uh, e is the <coughs> And E is the maximum. So that is you can write DE by DT is equal to 0. Okay. So thus what can we write from this equation? That is 0 from. Okay wait. From equation 2. Write it as 0 is equal to A plus 2BTN. Okay, this Tn we got because of replacing this Tn and dE by dt is nothing but 0. Because E is maximum. Okay. Um, yeah, so then, then you we take Tn separately. Tn is equal to minus A by 2B. Okay. Further, from this equation 1, take T is equal to Ti and e is equal to 0 so taking equation 1 we get 0 is equal to t i substituted as t i i'll take a t i plus b t i the whole square okay and next so if I substitute, if I take ti as common, I will get ti is equal to minus a by b. So from equation, this is, I will tell you 3. Okay. So from equation, this one, okay, this one I will give you as, sorry, this one I'll take it as 3 and this one I'll take it as, hmm. So from equation 3 and 4 we get as Ti is equal to 2 times of Tn. So that is the derivation which you write you will get full marks. Thank you.